Well, I'm James Wilson from Bishop, and I've been on the board of Friends of the Inyo for a long time. And the surprise, I'm sure, to most of you is I promise not to sing. <laughs> good, good. So, so uh, <clears throat> this will just take a few minutes, but we'd like to honor someone who's important to us. And I wrote this little thing because I'm kind of nervous in front of people, so pardon me while I use my notes, but life is short. We know that. Every day the planet seems to shrink, it's getting smaller with technology and travel. And we are beset with political, economic, environmental, and social woes at every turn. The news is something to avoid. Amidst this chaos, we seek and find solace in the magic, mystery, and beauty of birds. Birds and other wildlife provide a window into a nature that is complex and beautiful and enhances our everyday life. Birds and birding are to be embraced. In the Eastern Sierra, we have a pair of teachers and friends that have helped to open that window to make the unclear more clear. Tom and Joe Heindel. For decades, Tom and Joe have met, been mentoring birders in Inyo County and elsewhere through countless articles, bird study groups, field trips, and personal conversations. They have helped provide keys to understanding birds and birding. Tom and Joe understand the birds, and they understand both the science and sport of birding as well as anyone I've ever known. And they provide insight to us on how humans interact with birds. They tell stories that inform us about our quarry from their lifetime of experiences. Joe told the story of her first date. Tom took her birding. Here it is many moons later, and what are they doing for the day? They're going birding. They've led many Audubon field trips, bird study group field trips, and even international field trips, all in pursuit of feathered treasure. They've conducted birding, breeding bird surveys, they've banded birds, and they're writing a book on the birds of Inyo County. If the, the Heindels had been given a dollar for every novice inquiry about which scope or binoculars to buy, they could have their own bank, the bank of birds, perhaps. I remember when some saw a cassowary in Australia, and most, including Joe, didn't. I was afraid for those that saw and could not wait or guide us to the bird that well they might lose more than their binoculars. <laughs> but, occasion, but, it, I, but eventually we all saw the giant bird, and it's truly giant. Saturday nights for many, bird, many years, local birders have met at Tom and Joe's home for bird study group, an evening of bird, uh, bird sightings, bird discussions, and of course food. These evenings have been a pleasure and an opportunity for us to learn about birds and develop a rigor for our sightings to make them of the highest quality. Sometimes when the difference between the birds was too much, Tom would smile and say, well, if this birding is too much for you, as we speak in Bishop, bowling leagues are forming. <laughs> More than once, I think I heard that. Sometimes directed at me. <laughs> Our bird sightings, if accurate and recorded, are invaluable records, not only of the wildlife, but also of our changing landscapes and climate. The more rigor applied, the better the science. Tom and Joe, through their teaching, are directly responsible for the quality of our records. Their nurturing, nurturance and patience has made us all better birders, and our citizen science has profited. And as Mike just recounted, so have the birds. Not last of all is the friendship that Joe and Tom have provided. Life is a journey, perhaps a tapestry of events, sometimes perilous, frequently unexpected, but the friendships we make are the threads that hold the tapestry together. 
The Heindels are the golden threads in the tapestry of Eastern Sierra birding. That is a gift and a great joy. Today we'd like to honor the Heindels for the work they have done, their dedication to the bird life and wildness that we all value so highly, and for, and for friendships beyond words power to express. Thank you, Heindels. Thank you, Tom and Joe. Thank you.